Welcome back drinks fans. I'm Steve DeBarman and I'm all about giving you drinks and cocktail inspiration for your favorite drinks and tipples to help you drink better drinks at home. In today's video, I'm continuing on the dry January theme or mocktails throughout the whole year. If you don't drink, if you can't drink, I have got you covered. Uh, this is the second video that I'm doing with Liars, Australian brand of non-alcoholic spirits. First one I did the uh, sort of non-alcoholic Aperol. We've also got an Amaretto to feature, uh, spiced rum to feature, but in this one, uh, I'm featuring the coffee uh, liqueur, if you like. I don't know what to call them, coffee non-alcoholic spirits. I'll just pop these down. Just noticed they were in the way on the last video. So this, just have a little, this really surprised me actually. is you get honestly yes it hasn't got the al the alcohol kick on that honestly for me there isn't that much difference to Kahlua big bold vibrant coffee notes in there the little hint of sweetness it's not like Mr Black that's just um, bitter cold brew this has got a bit of sweetness to it and I think you are absolutely gonna love this uh, Master of Malt, as I say, links below of where to get this from. So three cocktails for you in this one. Uh, obviously, we've kind of got uh, an espresso martini coming on there. And I don't know, I've just said espresso again. I'm sorry, haters, espresso. It's my sinuses, it's how I talk. Um, I was funny, we were having a laugh and a giggle about that in the comments the other day. I get so many haters about the way I say espresso, but I just can't help it, it's just me. Anyway, uh, but as I say, I'm all about inspiration, so I'm all about giving you fun twists. So this is kind of a chocolate and hazelnut espresso martini. Boom, said it properly then, didn't I? Right, let's uh, do this. So first off, 50 ml double bubble of your uh, Liars Coffee Original. Amazing, amazing, I don't know what, I don't know whether it's got any information that I could kind of share with you on there. Bouquet of fresh roasted coffee, burnt caramel, vanilla, and hints of dark chocolate, fig, and blueberries. Crazy. I do get a bit of fruitiness. That, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have picked out blueberries, but I do get a hint of fruitiness. Palette, high notes of espresso, spiced caramel, toasted nuts, enhanced by a classic vanilla finished. Honestly, I flipping love this. This is... I, I would hazard a guess that this and the Amaretto could quite possibly be, well, to be fair, that the orange could quite possibly be their three big sellers. They cover 10, 12 different flavours, different kind of non-alcoholic spirits. Brilliant, genius brand. Right, anyway, let's waffle, barman. Let's waffle, crack on, 10, uh, 50 mil. Double bubble of your coffee. Uh, obviously, we need some espresso. Uh, so I've got 50 mil of espresso in here. Um... As I say, this is going to be a hazelnut and chocolate. So give it the hazelnut vibe. I've got some hazelnut syrup here. And as I say, that is a little bit sweet. That is a kind of Kahlua uh, sweetness for me. Um, so this will be a just the taste. Um, I've got, I'm going 10 mil. 10 mil of hazelnut uh, syrup there. Uh, easy to get from it's like six pounds, seven pounds, I think, from drink stuff. Uh, easy to get that one. Right, uh, the chocolate's coming in a minute. I'll show you the chocolate. Um, but you just need to ice this up now and give it a good old shaky shaky. So ice that down. Right, good hard fast shake. 10, 12 seconds. Right, so neck oh, that is frothed up proper, isn't it? I might, I might, I'll keep that. I might I might just go to Nick and Nora glass. We shall see in a second. Um, now, for the chocolate, uh, chocolate part of this, let's stick with this glass to see how far we get. Uh, the chocolate part. Now, uh, I've done this before in a, in a non-alcoholic, in a, a video like this. Uh, bitters, I don't think bitters are too bad for, because they, yes, they are alcoholic, but you literally use like two, three mil of that and it just brings out different flavours. And Angostura bitters get used in a lot of non-alcoholic cocktails as well, and they are quite alcoholic. So um, if, if it's against your religion, fine, don't use it. Uh, but I don't, these won't hurt you. Um, as I say, two mil of, I don't know how strong. I'm not actually sure, this, is a, this one is alcoholic, to be fair. Let me just have a little, I might cut this away. Right, so that's got 40%, the pineapple and star anise. It's got 40% on it. This doesn't actually have an ABV on it. Oh, this might be alcohol free. The orange hasn't got alcohol in it. Oh, the Mount Fuji. Oh, I don't know. 
I'll have to do some research on that. I thought they were all alcoholic. I've never noticed. Right, uh, so I've just got chocolate and bitters, and I'm just going to do one. Oh, that's good. One for luck. Three. Three spritzes of my chocolate bitters in there. Uh, I, am, I will double strain this. Do that. Yeah, look at that. Nick and Nora might have been better, but I'm Nick and Nora. That's all right though. We've got some frothage going. We got the we got the Mr. Whippy going on top. So if you've got a bigger glass, just you adjust your ratios a little bit. Uh, there we go. That's not too bad actually. That's not too bad. I don't like half full glasses. I like I give value for money. Right. And just because it's alcoholic, don't skimp with three coffee beans. Health, wealth, and happiness. One, two. There we go, health, wealth and happiness, three coffee beans, and that is your non-alcoholic. Oh, the hazelnut. Oh, that does come through. That is, if you wanted to bitter that down a little bit, actually, you could use a, a touch more espresso. Um, just maybe, I did 50 mil, 50-50, you could do sort of 15-75, if you wanted to dial the sweetness back down. I think that is delicious. Hmm. No one would ever know you're not drinking. Perfect, right. Uh, the next one I'm gonna do, it's kind of another traditional sort of coffee uh, drink. Again, we're gonna shake this up. That'll do there, I'm not gonna bother wash them up, they can stay there. This is gonna be kind of a, a coffee sour. All right, so. Uh, let's crack on with this one. Uh, we are going for 50 mil double bubble of your coffee liqueur. Coffee sounds are lovely. Don't know whether you've ever made them with Mr. Black or Kahlua. They do work a treat. Uh, lemon juice. Where are we going? Uh, I'm going 25 mil of lemon juice for this. Now, again, sugar of choice for this one. Completely up to you. You could kind of use... Um, I just go plain sugar. I'm actually going to use, I think I'm going to go brown sugar for this, to be fair. Uh, you could go, could add a little a bit of orgeat, uh, some almond in there. We've got vanilla, sort of coffee and vanilla sour. What else? Maple, ginger, ginger and coffee. That could be crazy. Whatever, just have a little think, have a little play, inspiration. Uh, but 15 mil, whatever. Whatever your sugar is, 15 mil. There we go. Uh, and now I'm going for my kind of bitters. I'll tell you what I will do, actually. I'll tell you what I will do. Uh, sorry, my foamers, because obviously we don't use egg whites on this channel. Uh, and go and stalk through all my older videos, you'll find out why we don't use that. This is Miss Better's Bitters. Standard sort of third, oh, bit too much, we won't use all that. Third to a quarter of a pipette. And that will replace your egg whites, which is perfect. And then bitters. Um, again, as I say, you know, we do use not bitters in non-alcoholic drinks because you like using two, three mil of alcohol and it's nothing, it's neither here nor there. So you could go uh, aromatic. I think I'm actually going to stick with these chocolate ones. I think that could be quite good. I've got smoke and oak up there, aromatic, black pepper and cardamom. I'm going to, one, two, three, for luck. There we go. Right, ice this up. Oh, I know what I should have done. I know what I should have done. I know what would have been. I bet you. I bet you guys are all sitting there watching this, thinking, "Why hasn't you used orange, Barman? Why have you not used orange?" That would have been genius. Orange, coffee, and orange. Right, when uh, that's frothed up as well. I'll tell you what, that that froths quite well. Um, if you're at home, as I say, just shake and dump. Another ice cube for luck. One more, just to bulk it up a little bit. There we go. Uh, I'll tell you what, instead of the bitters, I'll garnish it. I've got a slice here. I'll garnish it with a, a bit of orange there. A uh, little straw. Right, and that's a coffee sour. Orange bitters might have been the go-to for this, but... <laughs> oh, the citrus cuts through that. 
delicious. Absolutely amazing. I love it. Right then, for the final one, the final one, this is kind of interesting. I was talking about, I've got about three or four others here that I could have done. I have, I've written down a lot of gingerbread, espresso martini, coffee spritz, uh, vanilla espresso martini. But what I wanted to kind of have a do was like have a little tiki kind of play on this. And I'm still undecided what glass to use. Um, could could even I think that might be a bit too big for the recipe that I've got um I, they're about the same size I don't know I don't know I'll make it I'll see how it shakes down and then we'll we'll go from there we'll see which glass I, I, I'm thinking that one but we'll see right so this is kind of like um a shorter version of um I forgot the name of it now the dirty banana <laughs> it's kind of straight on my head so the dirty banana kind of like a little abbreviated kind of version of that so uh, you could blend this up if you wanted to, uh, but I'm going, um, I'm starting off, my first ingredient is banana puree. Now you could, by all means, use a fresh banana. Again, blitz it, puree it, um, muddle it, whatever you fancy doing. But I have got banana puree here, so I'm going 20, oh, 15 mil. That's what I'm going for. 15, 15 mil, this is quite... Thick and vibrant, this. I don't think you'll need too much more mm. of that. Um, maybe fresh banana. You might do like half a banana. That'll be the equivalent of that. So, I've got that. I'm going again 50 mil of this. I think this is... Uh, I need to have a proper play, but I think 50 mil is a good kind of um, measurement to use in this. 50 mil double bubble of that. Uh, I am going to use a, a little bit of lime juice just to cut the sweetness back a little bit. Uh, not too much, 10 mil. 10 mil of that. And then pineapple juice. Uh, again, I've just got supermarket owned, but it's pressed, 100% pressed. Uh, not concentrated stuff. I don't use concentrate pressed stuff. Uh, that's all gone out of there. So 50 mil of pineapple juice. There we go. So pineapple, kind of, as I say, kind of like a dirty banana. But, you know, I'm all about just the inspiration side of things. So take this and think, oh, perhaps if I did this instead. And then, as always, uh, let me know uh, your recipes. Tag me on Instagram. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, if you love me and if you like these videos, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do click that subscribe button. And if you do want uh, a little freebie as well as my cocktail book, if you haven't downloaded that, uh, check out in the descriptions a link to download my free cocktail book as well. So that'll be that'll be great for you. Right, let's shake this down hard and fast. Shake. Right, and when that is nicely shaken down, I tell you what, I've, I'm thinking, right, I'm going to serve this up with ice. I don't like putting ice in that. So, the actual glass I think I'm going to do is this julep glass. I think I've just spotted that. I think that's going to be perfect for that. So, shake and dump. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Couldn't have done that any better if I tried. And no, I didn't cheat. <laughs> right, uh, I've got a straw. I have got, hopefully, yeah, if I can see it there, my little bomb site of cocktail shakers. I have got a pineapple that we need to cut up there. Amazing, right. <laughs> that is fun. Oh, God. I tell you, that's a genius product. I love it. I love it. Brilliant. Well done, Lies. That's two products I've used so far, the, the orange and the coffee. Honestly, that. that it's just a great espresso martini. It's brilliant. So all the links are below if we can get that from and the recipes and everything's below. Uh, not sure which one I'm doing next, whether I'm doing the spiced rum or the amaretto. I'm going to do the amaretto next to the marzipan, so stay tuned for that. Um, but I've been Steve the Barman. I will see you in the next video.